Hello, my name is Will, I host the Bald Book Geek, and this is a discussion slash review slash topic on My Dark Vanessa, a phenomenal debut novel, one that has spiked controversy and discussion, which all good novels should. So I want to start this video by just pointing something out. The writer was forced to come out about her own abusive relationship because people on the internet didn't feel she had the right to write about it. So to get people off her back, she was literally forced to come out about an abusive relationship. People who say the book community isn't toxic um, really have no clue. And at the end of the day, own voice is nothing more than a marketing tool, and publishers firmly admit that. You'll be quite interested in the emails that I've received from publishers about it and other things. A writer doesn't owe you their life, their identity, their gender, their sexuality, their race, their religion, their whatever. And she didn't owe you opening up about her abusive relationship, but you forced her into it. Congratulations, you people should be ashamed of yourselves. Now let's get on with the review and the discussion of this book. Where do we start? This is adult literary fiction and I really dislike the phrase, this is contemporary. It switches between the narrative of a 15-year-old girl and her in her 30s, and the relationship she was having with her 45-year-old teacher when she was 15. It uses that in an interesting way in the sense of an unreliable narrator. The 15-year-old her is romanticizing everything, and it's very much a girl crush. It's interesting because it's not as neat and clean as you would think, uh, Vanessa is not the victim, and she never calls, her, calls herself a victim. She never sees herself in that way. She often doesn't recognize the abuse as abuse. This book is not um, black and white. It's a it's hundred shades of grey. That's where it's interesting. So let's talk about it. The unreliable narrator aspect of this book is interesting because when we are 15, any child who is 15 years old, well, not teenager, child, whatever, is romanticized. They don't know the world. We don't know the world at 20, 25, 26, but at 15 we definitely don't know anything. And we all had a crush on that teacher. Her relationship with him is strange because you can see how he manipulates her. You can see the games that are being played and you can see that it's grooming. The book never asks you to make an opinion about it. The book leaves you kind of in an amoral section of the story because of the nature of it it can't it can't force an opinion on you you've got to make up your own it leaves that to the reader which i think is a, a brilliant quality of the writing the writing is beautiful and fluid i want to say that quotation is gorgeous the the sentence structure the word choice it all fits beautifully it never feels stunted it never feels hollow it never feels there for shock value or reason and i love the fact that you've got a distinction between the voice of the 15 year old and the 30 something year old and you also have a distinction between events so her unreliable narration of her as 15 and her looking back on it and analysing it as an adult, that's something you often don't see in these books. The story is told very well. It is... I would view her as a victim, and but she wouldn't view herself as a victim, which I like that. I like the fact that it leaves her making the decisions. You're kind of following her along and her own her sense of voice and her sense of reason. The story is very much grey, and it it basically um, works within decision making and morality. Nothing is easily solved. Nothing easily fixes itself. Nothing easily just goes well. That happened, or this happened, or that's happening. This is black and white. It isn't that no one is 100% innocent and no one is or 100% a monster. The plot doesn't fit that narrative. And it feels very real because she's asking the same questions we are. You, you never feel you're forced into anything. I find it interesting that people found this book hard to read. I didn't, but I'm very good at looking at a book as a piece of art to be consumed. It's That's all it is. 
um, someone compared this to, to Lolita, where Lolita is the same Shades of Grey narrative, but unlike Lolita, this isn't so much about selfish, horrible people, um, <laughs> where Lolita is basically a parody of that. This book is beautifully written, and it's interesting how she reevaluates her life and what happens, and reevaluating events, and not wanting to give up what she felt as a teenager, not wanting it to become something sordid not wanting it to be something that it, to her mind it wasn't. And it never becomes that. She's left asking as many questions as you. She is forced into a decision she doesn't want to make. Does she talk about it? Doesn't she? This book uses that beautifully. It uses that almost on your um, edge of your seat narrative, which sometimes is missing from fiction like this, which gets frustrating sometimes. This book was the writer's way almost a therapy session for the writer and I do think it's absolutely horrible like I said at the start what people made the writer do. This book will stay with you, it packs a punch, although I want to say just on an aesthetic note I definitely prefer the black and white cover. I think that's a, from the, the other international versions. The UK cover is pink. Mm, it, it, Pink and red, which two colours... I know it's a weird thing to go on a tangent of, just graphics designer mind. Pink and red are two colours that should never really go together. But it's it's a gorgeous book, and one that has left a mark on me. One that has made me think. Do we ever want to become a victim, or willingly be a victim? Do we ever want to change things in our past? Things that we look back on and go, well, maybe that wasn't necessarily a good thing. It's interesting how it paints an abusive relationship from my own personal experience. The manipulation and the control is very real and kind of terrifying on that level. Again, this is a beautifully written book. One that will not be the easiest read for some of you, but one that I think you should read. This book is a prime example of glorious and beautiful fiction. <laughs>